Hi, welcome back to the virtual classroom. I am Gabriel Ido, your ICC teacher. In this question that we are treating right now, the name of the folder that I have created is Web Design Soup. And you have some files there, just like the way they will give you in the exam. You have some files, and the instruction will be on the question paper. My question paper here is Web Design Question 2, which I have opened. Let me show you. This is the question paper. This is where you are going to have all the instructions for this particular task. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the lesson. The question now. Using the table structure below, design a professional web page for year eight students of BIS. Insert hyperlinks where necessary. Make the BIS logo a hyperlink to the school website. That is www.bisnigeria.org. Use appropriate font type, font color, background color, and background images. Center align the table. Now, the first thing you need to do is to know the number of columns and number of rows the table has. For example, to know the number of rows and columns in this table is easy. Just look at the table holistically and you'll discover that, for example, if I use this, you discover that we have this colon, this another colon. That means throughout we have three columns. Column one, column two, column three. Then you need to ascertain the number of rows. How many rows do we have in this table? You need to do like this, like this, 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 and then this. You will be able to count the number of rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we have seen that we have three rows and three, I mean, three columns and eight rows. Three columns, row, um, rows are the horizontal, while columns are the vertical. Please take note of that. So the next thing to do is to open your web uh, package, website application package. We are using Microsoft Expression Web 4. So when you add it, the first thing you do is to go to table, insert a table. The question may ask you to add a title. If the question asks you to add a title, you can add a title to your, you can add a title to your file. So to do that, we have this. Let's go to table, insert table. According to the instruction we have, we have three columns, eight rows. So set it, eight rows, three columns. Then another thing you need, before you say OK, is to look at the question. What is the size of the table? Now, if this is as width, the all of this cell has width of 700. This is under width of 300. If you add these two together, since these two make up this row, that will be 1,000 pixels. So you set that 1,000 pixels. So you come here and specify. Notice that by default, we have the dimension in percent, but the question could say use pixel. If the question says percent, you set it, whatever the question says. If we say pixels, you set it to so I'm going to set this to 1,000 pixels. Then what's the next thing? According to the instruction, you discover that these cells were merged. So we are going to do something like that. So it's very simple. Just come here. And then um, if they ask us to set background color, this is where you set it. If you are asked to set background image or background picture, this is where you click on it and come and pick it. But since the question did not say it, we may not need to do that right now. So just take note of that. Then you say, OK. Now saying, OK, you have this. These are the three columns, column one, column two, column three, and the eight rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is correct. Then the next thing you need to do is to merge the two cells together. Let's merge it together. So that means you pick this cell, select it to this cell, right click on it go to modify merge the two cells have been made sometimes depending on how they put the question they may label it maybe they label this one a label this one b label this one c so you can also do that depending on the question so this one that was labeled a what are we supposed to do there we are supposed to put this image called online resources image this is the image you are putting online resources image now you go back do we have that in your folder online resources image 
let's check okay this is the image you can see that it's an image jpeg online resources so you have to insert it in that place but before you do another thing you need to consider is the size of this place the size of this place of this cell is 700 with 250 height so you go to set that click inside this cell and you come to cell property here yeah? show type properties click on it then you'll be able to specify the width look at it specify width in pixels always know that and the question says 700 and the height the question says 250 so you do that for that click apply and say okay so we have the first one then the next one which is the second one and that was the one that was labeled b the question says that he has the width of 300 and height of 250 so let's quickly do that width of 300 so click inside of it before you do anything click on cell properties here and specify the width width of 300 and height of 250 okay then you click ok okay can you see the two so we have done that part so the next thing you need to do is to come look at this cell the whole of this cell is merged so you are going there were three cells but it has been merged collapsed into single cell so the width is 1000 and the height is 200 so just come there click the cell select the three cells there then right click on it go to modify merge cells then you have that so if you have it merged then you set the settings then you make it 1000 by 200 click here 1000 by so you click on show properties 1000 width in pixels and the height is 200 according to the instruction then you say okay can you see the way it's opening up then you know you are getting it right one after the other then the next one is the all of this the all of this is merged that is one two three four five apart from this first column so that means column two column three of these all five rows were merged so the first thing you do is to go there look at column one column two column three so from here you select up to this okay five one two three four five and this place then you right click go to modify merge cells and you have that merge then what is the settings given to it the dimension is 800 by 300 800 by 300 so click inside of it before you do anything click on cell properties come to width 800 and the height by 300 then you click apply then you say okay can you see it has created that then the last one is that these two were merged only this one was remaining so you select these two merged and it has width of 700 and height of 300 so you select these two select these two and then right click on it go to modify merge after you have merged it into a single cell you need to be careful here because you realize this has moved to this other side so click inside of this and then make sure it's this first one you click click on cell property and come to specify width what's the width width is 700 and the height is 700 so width is 700 and the height let's be sure of the height the height is 300 so you put 300 click apply and say okay so you discover that we have something like that so that has been done so the next thing is to come to this and begin to put the contents or the items so what's the content of the first one the content of the first one is online resources image so how do you add it click make sure you scroll to the very first one click inside of it then go to insert go to picture from file and locate that folder wherever you save it so that's online resources click on it and click insert if it ask you for alternate text just put online resources here yeah, it's online resources say okay and we have that done then the next one is this what is in that 
VIS logo according to the instruction. So you insert VIS logo, click inside, go to insert, and then you go to picture from file VIS logo. You put it, call it a VIS logo, and you have it done properly. You see that one also is done properly. So the next one is this place, and you were asked to type it. A particular test the question says type in what your expectations are in your examinations so you, you begin to type my expectation my expectations for them one examinations so if you have it in a listed format you can just press enter and begin to list it maybe the first thing you want to list is what you will get depending on what you want or you just want to type it as a you know as an article i am expecting i am expecting a star in all my subjects i look forward to emerging the overall best students in year it i want my parents to be proud of me proud of me at the end at the end of the this forthcoming examination by coming out flying colors All right, let's see that is your expectation. Okay, the next thing, the question says, make it green, bold, and use Edging Star 1. Edging Star 1, so you click here, and make it Edging Star 1. Wow. So you come here, insert Edging Star 1. Can you see that? Make it green, you come to font color, and pick a, a green color okay what else the question says it should be bold i guess it is bold already okay we have done those two i can see that so the next one is insert here type the link the word links using editing style 2 the word link now that, that should be here link and you should use editing style 2 so you select it and come to style editing style 2 okay good then the next one according to the question is here type exam timetable exam timetable click and type examination timetable the next one is a uh, type ICT practical timetable. ICT practical timetable. Then the next one is um, class notes. Class notes. The next one is um, type inquiries. Inquiries inquiries or you call it contact us inquiries then make all of them editing style 2 so select this or make it editing style 2 select this editing style 2 select this editing style 2 select this editing style 2 inquiries okay good then the next one is make these inquiries make it a email link to Gabriel Ido at BIS Nigeria.org email link. So you select it, go to insert hyperlink. When you get to hyperlink, you might be here, but the question says make it email link. So come and click on email link. If you want to link it to a document in this 
fold, uh, folder, you click this email link, type the email address. The question says to Gabriel Idowu at bisnigeria.org. Do you notice that when I began to type, the word mail to came in. Don't delete it, leave it. That is the keyword. That is the HTML tag for email link. So you leave it, it will come automatically. Then subject line, you can make it inquiries. You can make it inquiries. Okay, good. Then you say, okay, that is done. So let's go to the next one. Here you were asked to insert the image. Thank you. Insert the image. Thank you. So let's look for the image. Um, come here, place your cursor here and look for the image. Insert picture from file. Thank you. Oh, this is the file. This is the image. Thank you. Insert it there. Call it alternate test. Maybe thank you. Say okay. We have it done. Then having done that, come to this. What did they say you should do there? Insert the image. Exam success. Exam success. So click here. Go to insert picture from file. Okay, this is exam success. 800 by, look at the size of the file. Let me see. That's 800 by 300. What did they put in the question? 800 by 300. Oh, that's correct. So put it and call it exam success then you say okay and we have it there then the last one is this what are you asked to do here according to the question the question says um you make this insert type the word web created by your name and make it h3 so you click here and say web page created by then your name and make it h3 so you click here and go to here and make it h3 so we have that done h3 so having done this the next thing you need to do is to save it it's very important and when you want to save it make sure you save it in the same folder that you have been working with everything must be in the same folder so let's call it a uh, web design web design question 2 because this is and notice that the save as type will be web page please take note and you save it so after you have saved it you might need to preview it and see the way it looks the best place to preview is not even here. It's not in this window. It's not in Microsoft Expression Web window. It is in your browser. What's a browser? A browser is an application package that displays the content of a web page. So you go to a browser and pick any of the browsers you have. For example, if I pick Chrome, let me see the way it will load. Okay. Let me maximize it. You can see it. So this is the website I've just created. Let me zoom it okay this is the website i've just created you can see that yeah you can see it this is the website i've just created now let's go back and see the question then the question says that make all these menu as hyperlinks that you, sh you should make exam timetable hyperlink practical timetable hyperlink class notes hyperlink we have done inquiries so it remains just these three just this three i've done this hyperlink this three so but you notice that the this file exam timetable we have it in the folder we have term one exam timetable we also have class notes and we also have um we also have um what else okay ict practical exam timetable so let us link all this so the first one we want to link is examination timetable. So you click on it, exam timetable, go to insert, go to hyperlink. Since you, we already have it, you are going to say existing file or web page. So I'm going to say existing file or web page. So examination timetable, look at it. 
term one exam timetable so when i click on it it's going to show it and i click ok then i'm going to do the same thing for ict practical timetable and set hyperlink still file existing file ict practical okay and the next one class notes there is a folder called class notes i mean there's a file called class the hyperlink class notes class notes oh here is it class notes and i click ok so i have this so then let's go back to the question what else the question says the other time that when you click on the bis logo you should hyperlink it to this website www.bisnigeria.org so i will need to quickly do that so i'll click on the image which is the logo i click on the logo i have that then i'll go to insert hyperlink then since i'm sending it to a particular address a web address i will say existing file or web page it's, it's another web page then i'll come to address i will type www.bisnigeria.org and i click ok such that when i click on it it will take me to the website of the school then the next one is um let's see what else center align the table to so center align the table within the browser and we are asked to use appropriate font type and the rest so let's quickly get that done so i'll come here to center align the table let me show you the meaning of that first of all save and preview so that you can see the difference save and come to preview in browser you will see that the whole of this thing is moving to one side that is to the left but we want it to center align that is a more professional website so to make it do that i will go to this and click on alignment for the table just click the entire table by clicking here then you if you come to alignment you may see that center or you just come to this center so center the whole table okay then let's save and see the way it goes save file save and go to preview in browser can you see the whole table has been moved to the center so we have created a more uh, professional website so this let us give it appropriate color if need be we could give it a color but i know the question that you have it will tell you the specific color to use for each of them so it is very important so for example let us take test all the links we have created let's click on examination timetable let's see whether it will work now to know that something is an hyperlink when you bring a cursor to it it will turn to and like an uh, image or you see it being on the line so if i click here let's see whether i will bring examination timetable wow as i click on it it brought the school examination timetable can you see that so if you want to see the examination timetable you can see it on the web page we have just created this is this is interesting this is interesting so when you see websites this is the process all the websites you are using this is the process they follow let's go and see the ict practical timetable click on it wow this is the ict practical timetable okay yeah uh today is um uh okay tomorrow is thursday yeah 8i will be having their practical you can see it so yeah 8v will be having it on friday and this is what you'll be tested on you can see that now let's go back to class notes click on this wow when i click that you can see the class notes the one i gave to you this is the class notes because it has been hyperlinked yes on this website which means that if you even want to download it you just come here and click and download that is how it works then let's go to inquiries let's test inquiries how it works click on inquiries wow you know inquiries is all about you sending a mail to a particular email address and the email address has been put there so the moment i click on it you can see the outlook came up and then i can send my email so that is how it works so you can see that so we have come to the end of this question but looking at this is there anything you think can be done better one of the things i see is that 
you can still the color combination is it appropriate look at it oh so then you make adjustment so this is the end of the question and we have done justice to it but if you have any questions please do not hesitate to reach out to me and i promise you i will attend to it as fast as possible so i want to use this to wish you the very best in your examination see you in the examination all tomorrow thank you god bless you and one more thing you might be asked to copy your code just click here you will see all the code that has generated the web page this is what we call the html code html code hypertext markup language can you see everything you have typed look at them in the code if they say you should change the title you will see it the title my expectation for term one exam you can see everything this is it's very important so right now you can look at yourself or see yourself as a web designer or as a web coder so thank you